Well, let's discuss now the potential impact on Greece's economy. The elections happening this weekend. Uh, joining us from our central London studio is Dr. Dennis Novi, who's associate professor in economics at the University of Warwick. And um, thank you very much for talking to us here on Sky News this afternoon. The polls open. The people of Greece out there voting. Um, it's the economic situation that's taking voters to the polls this weekend, isn't it? Yes, the economy in Greece has been doing badly for quite a time now. And Syriza, the main opposition party as of right now, is seen by many as quite radical in political terms. But in economic terms, what they're proposing is actually not quite as radical. It's almost stating the obvious. The Greek economy has been in difficulty for a long time. They have very high debt. It's about 175 percent as a ratio of GDP. Unemployment is 25, 27 percent, about 60 percent for the young people. We have serious deflation in Greece, minus 2.5 percent. Clearly, this is not sustainable. Something will have to happen. And Syriza is the only party, the only major party in Greece, saying that they will try to rene renegotiate with the European Union. Mm, some incredible statistics that you're quoting there. Our correspondent Robert Nisbet was saying that one in two uh, young people under 25 are out of work. Um, but a decade ago, Greece was a burgeoning economy. What happened? What has brought it here to where it's on its knees? Yes, you're right. Before the financial crisis kicked in in 2008, 2009, the Greek economy was doing quite well. And the main reason was that Greek had joined the euro in 2000. And that brought a lot of stability. And you had large inflows of money from countries like France and Germany coming to Greece. And that led to an investment boom. And the economy was doing very well. The music stopped in 2008, once the global financial crisis hit. And suddenly, things took a turn for the worse. And Greece is, of course, not the only country that has suffered so much. It is also Spain, it is Portugal, Ireland. And in, Greek, in Greece, in particular, we have a problem with government debt. That is actually rather special in other European Union countries. That was not such a big problem. It is mainly in Greece where there were serious issues with government debt. Um, since this, this crisis has happened, it does seem that Greece keeps changing its mind. Uh, every few years, a new administration with a new plan enter this new party, Syriza, which looks like uh, winning uh, the election this weekend. What's different about them and why do you think they've gathered so much support? I think what's different this time around is that people no longer fear as much that Greece will leave the Eurozone. If you think back a couple of years at the last election in Greece in 2012, it wasn't quite clear whether Greece would stay within the euro. But I think now, over time, it's become clear that it's very unlikely that Greece will leave. The Greek people themselves don't want to leave the euro. And other countries, like Germany, have now made it clear, at least implicitly, that that would be a complete economic disaster. I think it's in no one's interest, certainly not in the European Union, that any country like Greece would leave the European Union. So I think voters in Greece are now much more confident that a party like Syriza wouldn't lead them out of the Eurozone, whereas previously that wasn't quite clear. Uh, they do seem to have quite a radical approach, though, don't they? Um, their leader, Alexis Tsipras, has pledged to write off Greece's huge debt and revoke austerity measures. Um, is that a possibility? How much negotiating power um, does Greece have with international lenders? Yes, I don't, I don't only think it's a possibility that there will be a renegotiation of the Greek debt. I think it's an inevitability. It will happen. And to some extent, it already has happened a little bit. Uh, but Greece will have to go back to the re re negotiating table with countries like Germany and the European Union, the IMF. And how much they will be able to get, that will really depend on the outcome of today's election. It will depend on whether Syriza will get an outright majority or whether they will need a coalition partner, and if yes, what kind of coalition partner. They might get a coalition partner, and that would probably tame them a little bit. But it's inevitable. The burden on Greece is just not sustainable. And if you look at the history of sovereign default and the history of sovereign debt, it's just not going to happen. And ironically, actually, it's other countries in the Eurozone that in the past had a similar treatment. If you think about Germany, Germany is one of the countries that got a lot of debt relief in the 20th century, after World War I, after World War II again, and the other countries. So Greece wouldn't be the first that would renegotiate its debt. It's, it's going to happen. I think that's the realistic outcome.
Okay, well, we'll we await the result of that election uh, later this evening. In the meantime, Dr. Dennis Novi, thank you for speaking to us here on Sky News. Thank you.